The worship leader is first and foremost a worshiper. A worship leader needs to have their own encounters, their own personal experience with God, and it's out of that overflow that we're able to give to a congregation, that we're able to lead them and urge them also to seek after God. If we don't have that personally, then it's just a show that we're putting on. It really needs to come from deep within, and that makes a worship leader even more effective and I think more beautiful in the eyes of God. In the church today, I feel like worship has come to equate music. And so if someone's not good at singing or if they've never played an instrument, they automatically feel like they're not really good at worshiping. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Worship is whatever connects us to God, whatever makes us realize we are less and He is more. Whether we go out in nature and experience Him or we go to a soup kitchen and show compassion toward a stranger. All of these things that make us feel closer to God, build our relationship with Him, that's worship. Yes, My deep hope for God's people is just that they'll know Jesus more and know Him truly. Not who we think He should be, not who we want Him to be, not to make the Bible say what we want it to say, but to see Jesus for who He is and fall deeper in love with Him and to really fully embody His mission of love and reconciliation and act on earth in such a way that reflects the kingdom of God. And keep my eyes above the waves. My soul will rest in your embrace. I am your We're always looking for the things in this world that will fill us, but it's really when we become who we were created to be, beings of worship, beings that look upon their father and feel completely loved as a child. We worship because it's what we were created to do, and it's what we're going to do together forever in heaven. And so. What we do here on earth, that's worship, is like a rehearsal for what's going to happen for eternity. And it's going to be so awesome. Today is the day.